Welcome back to another Teamfight Tactics video. Today, we are starting off on the completed item anvil portal, and our first augment gives us Prismatic Bruiser Emblem. Big excited! I've been forcing this comp without the emblem and trying as hard as I can to get an emblem for you guys. Finally, we get to watch a Silas with way too much HP wreak havoc on our enemies. Our opponents this game are quite tough though, since there are a couple of dirty high rollers in our lobby. But anyways, if you like what you see, please leave a like because it helps the channel out a ton. See ya! Away from getting it, Bonk. That's what I think. Alright, Bruiser Crown, Radiant Relics, and Caretaker's Chosen. I could play I could take Bruiser's Crown and I could finally play 8 Bruiser Silas like I've wanted to forever. I'm gonna do that because I've wanted to play that comp for too dang long. For way too dang long. Comes with a Bloodthirster and an Aatrox. Ooh, and a Jewel Gauntlet. Except we have a Jewel Gauntlet. So, I think we take this Jeweled Gauntlet. Take this one. And we use this for something else. Yeah! Do it! I know, I'm stoked. I've wanted to play Bruiser Crown Silas forever. But I never get the Bruiser Crown when I have Silas items. Okay, so. Comp is easy. You click on all the Bruisers, which is... Rek'Sai, Kobuko, Aatrox, Riven, Tom Kench, this guy, and this guy. And then you have one slot open to play kind of whatever you want. Altruist could be really good. She also Mana Reeves, and then level 9 you could play Rakan for three Altruists. That seems fine by me. <laughs> oh, a Kabuko. And we make 20. Yes, sir. We don't have to play Soraka, though. There's also a Storyweaver option, Dragonlord option. Sure, there's a lot of fun stuff. Two Jeweled Gauntlets. Not very good, though. I'm thinking Crown Guard Ionic Spark. This will be maybe a red buff on somebody. This will be Thieves Gloves, hopefully. We need a, a lot of stuff to go right still. This guy, on the other hand, Spear Sojin, Archangel Staff, Adaptive Helm. Yeah, he's just gonna slap my Soraka. Oh no. Goodbye, Soraka. Rest in peps. We can still win, though. Right? No, probably not. Is that York's gonna start ulting? No. Yeah. Oh well. Buy everything. Here we go, here we go. Second pick. Ionic Spark. Priority. Okay, then I guess I'll just take... More ability power. Could have taken this, I could have taken that. I don't know. Probably all the same. Ability power is the wave, though. Ooh, ah. Alright, I'm not sure about these. 
at some point, you know, I want to get rid of this. Fair or whatever. I could just do Rabidon's. Rabidon's Crown Guard and not play. Rabidon's Crown Guard, and then you don't have to play uh, Ionic Spark. But I think it's fine. I think I can just chill. This is a free fight for sure, right? Ooh. Banana! Banana! Alrighty. <clears throat> Two, four, six, seven gold. I'm gonna have to sell the Soraka at some point. Taking the spat makes Story Weaver emblem. Yeah, but that just gives us a one kale. And then I guess maybe then I could have pen on the kale, but Nah. Nah. Level up with a champion duplicator start. That's pretty crazy. I think sniper crown's pretty bad in general. The old Darius one carry, huh? Ooh, we had a Nautilus as well. Jeez. Nice, nice, nice. Have to play the code to get the interest gold to get the bonus health going. Late game bonus health. Very cool. Bloodthirster on the bench. Very not cool. Secondary carries for this comp. Bruiser Silas Galio, view all. Items, Bloodthirster. Good on a set. Like, how do you just say, oh, I'm going to find a set? Okay. Now we got options. Now we can do Shiv or Red Buff. I'm gonna do Red Buff. Do Red Buff. Bloodthirster is not great on Silas, especially when I can make really good items. Dual Gauntlet. Rabidon's Ionic Spark. Oh, but look. Archangel Staff is really good. Archangel Staff is really good? Gauntlet, Rabadon's Archangels. Except we didn't make pen, so we have to make pen. Okay, so we have to give him a spark, basically. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, heroic grab bag, crash test dummies. Two, four, two healthy. 99 health gets multiplied by 80% on all of our units. And you could maybe do... One more two cost as your last unit. Play Zyra, 300 health. Raining gold is also really good. Oh! Wowee. Wowee wow. Oh my goodly god, dude. Bruisers heal 2% of their max health every one second. Bruiser crown. Bruiser Emblem. Bruiser, Bruiser Augment. What? Exactly, dude. What? That's crazy. Okay, dude. Game says, here you go, Keith. 
don't fuck it up. This Bloodthirster has good uh, placement on Kobuko, by the way, so... I'll just rip it on Kobuko. I'm gonna assume it's because he ends up having the most max HP out of any of the Bruisers. So that... 25% max health shield for 5 seconds really comes in clutch. Okay. Okay. Smurf. Healing done. 2500, 5k, 4.9. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Kane on stage 3-3. Three, three. That's almost as gross as what I have. Notice how I said almost, though. What? This guy's already got my bruisers. Brody. Oh, and he took the emblem off the thing, so he's got big porcelain vibes. Alright, so he's going to sell those at some point, because it doesn't fit into a porcelain comp, really, so. At least I know... Dude, these guys are also high rolling out of their minds. This is such a crazy high roll lobby. This lobby is insane. Okay, we need a... Jack, there's only one... Okay, no, there's Jacks and there's this guy. I mean, we're probably going to find a cloak anyway, right? Uh, uh, yeah, we probably will. Porcelain Silas does not sound good, I can't lie. It actually might be really good. I could see him putting Porcelain Emblem on the Silas and the Galio, and then they both get the uh, huge damage reduction from 6 Porcelain. But let's just hope he doesn't do that. Extra unit, and it's gonna be this girl. And I guess we can just get through these items now. So our Silas items are complete. We have a Steadfast Heart and an extra Chain Vest now. And Archangels works really well with Silas. This guy also contesting Porcelain. That's cool. I don't think Porcelain Emblem is even as strong as it once was, to be honest. Watch this guy one-shot his Lux. Oh, no. One more roll. Oh, God. The damage reduction is nice, but the attack speed's meh. Yeah, for sure. The attack speed does nothing on Galio. And we are quite wealthy. 50 gold before Merc Wolves, level 7, halfway to level 8. Also has a Galia. Also gonna buy a Galia, probably. Still playing Silas. So many four costs. <laughs> This is the cane guy. We're not even at six bruisers, let alone eight bruisers. Eight bruisers is going to be crazy. And we still have 60 health. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We should have around maybe 60 gold to roll on 4-2 for the rest of our units. We already have most of them. We just need Galio Silas. Mm. 
and Tom Kench. Uh huh. I'm gonna save my gold. Last Whisper's bad. Dead Pass Heart. Rune Ends. Quicksilver. Uh. Quicksilver Titans, though. Titans. This is all bad. This is all sorts of bad. Alright, where are you, mister? Porcelain Crown Silas. Surely you pivot off of this at some point, right? Oh no, the fortune guy's gonna lose to us or beat us. I mean, we've, we've destroyed his streak. Bummer, dude. All right, 46 life. Level the Malphite, that's a good idea. Reza Crowd, Magic Wand, Combat Caster. Magic Wand. Reinforcements, there you go. Altruist Crest though, look at that. What the fuck? I absolutely put him on the board. Okay, whatever. I passed a set. But I think we're playing Altruist, honestly. Seven bruisers. Ultras is so good on the bruisers too because they have all the health and now they have all the resistances to go along with it. Bruiser Rakan, yeah. Did I miss a Rakan? Don't tell me I missed a Rakan. It'll make me sad. I was rolling too fast, that's for sure. No, you didn't. There we go. Let's go. Soraka did damage. Ribbon did a lot of damage for some reason. Um, and then after that is Tom Kench. We'll just give him this, though. Yeah, reinforcements would have been really good too. Eight bruisers gain a new passive every three seconds. Bruisers deal 6% bonus physical damage on their next attack. So actually, having armor pen is not that bad. Physical damage sunders. The only, buddy, the only person doing physical damage in AoE is... Riven, right? God, I love Silas. Me too. He's so cool. That guy is the guy holding the Silas. Let's go more magic resist. Nah, I don't need the spat. That does nothing. It's a bait. Don't get baited. More MR. Galio here, Silas here. 
Dragon Claw for Galio, probably. I'm gonna do stone plate. I'm gonna try to make an even shroud for the Galio. Hey, Silas, please. Extra health, extra. Oh no. We're stuck on this Amumu. Even with healing reduction, we're stuck on this Amumu? Bro. That is disgusting. It's not even six porcelain, it's five porcelain. What the frick? Let me see. Silas is out. Silas. No. No. Mm, two star Silas. This guy got off of Silas. Uh, okay, so there's only three Silas's out. Like I said, such a high roll lobby. But my team actually does a lot of physical damage now, so I need an armor pen, right? Or is that a bait? Can't really tell. I feel like they actually do do a fair amount of physical damage. Okay, kill the Lilia. Yeah, and then the next level of Altruist is gonna be big. Dryad Embrum, Umbral, Story Weaver. Yeah. I just don't think that's strong. Maybe Umbral would have been good, but it's only 10%. He's probably doing most of that, anyways. Okay, now we have 10. Ryan Slayer. Ribbon is actually kind of cooking. Oh, there's the Rakan. So I reckon we are planning on leveling up now. And replacing the Soraka again. Oh no. Yeah. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Need two stars before I level, huh? Opponent. range guy, right. Okay. Could roll down to zero gold just to try to hit Silas, but we have no Silas pairs, so that feels really bad in my opinion. I'm just gonna take the level up and uh, hope that those extra resistances make a huge difference, because they might 
Get an extra Rakan on the board. Has 2700 HPs. Silas ability. And we build. Oh my god, look at him. He's. On okay. Oh my god, I couldn't even talk. I'm so stressed out. We're con stopping the damage. Yeah, that helps a lot, huh? One star, this guy did 10k damage almost. Rakan's actually doing a ton of damage too. Silver's probably fine. See you again. Two star Rakan. Sticking with two star Silas, so there's a good chance we hit. If we roll down right now, six porcelain though. The guy's already hitting my Silas, which is good because now we taunt on the Galio. Big Galio shields. Silas is stacking. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Now we're piling onto the Amumu. Alright, this guy clapped us earlier, which means we definitely got a lot stronger. This guy clapped us earlier, and now we clapped him back. Healing on our board. Pretty disgusting. Big damn. Big true. Here's a good item. I actually think that maybe... This is better. Nice. Nice. Okay. So now we have a good fight pattern where the fight starts uh, their corner unit probably focuses the Silas for a little bit as long as Silas doesn't get immediately one shot which is pretty unlikely then the Galio taunts and then their corner unit starts hitting the Galio instead so then boom Galio taunting Lilia focusing Galio now Silas had some time to stack up his thing lose some HP so his he gets value from the healing and the Lilia is too strong. And the Lilia is too strong. Okay. Okay, we top forward though. We top forward. But that did not go well. I don't have a single upgrade that I could really hit feasibly, except for Rakan, maybe? Uh, 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 he pivoted closer to my Silas, but they're probably going to hit the Galio. Thing is, I think that the... I think that his guy is going to lifesteal through all of my damage. Every time the Archangels goes up, though, this fight gets a little bit easier. My red buff's still alive. My Silas is stunned forever for some reason. Okay. Nice. We made it to the Dragon. To the Dragon. Oh, that's why making that's why making set a bruiser so OP because you do get the umbral buff. So the umbral buff is not irrelevant. The umbral buff is actually relevant. 
And he gets to squat your bruisers too. That's actually funny. That makes a lot more sense than I thought it did. All right, we look for Rakan too now. Rakan two. Now Ash is gonna hit the Silas like non-stop though. This is the Galio, he like got too far away from the Galio, but now Silas is one-shotting the Ash. Get him, Silas. Please do more damage, Silas. Yeah boy. Yeah boy. Two-star Rakan's ability does more damage. The shield is bigger. Hmm. All right. I just have to get through the Lilia guy. Position the other way last time, I'll position this way this time. I'm on his Morgana, that's actually really, really big. Alright, that, sh that should be a win now, right? No, I still get destroyed by the Lilia, huh? Wow, that's a... That's a pretty crazy. Wow. I still get destroyed by the Lilia. It's still a third though. Like and subscribe guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, hit the bell button and I will see you guys later. Peace.